Hey, Ms. Danny here, and we are going to continue on with Portal 2. So here we go. Courtesy call. Let's check this out. So as you saw, we played Portal 1, and we decided to go ahead and continue with Portal 2. Wondering how much harder this is going to be because that last part of Portal 1 was pretty tough. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. There's a framed what? This is art. You oh. will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Get sleep. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door? Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? What is going on? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind, say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Going on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. What is and going on? Who's Do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds ten thousand flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Oh, 
Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not pretty dead. much alive. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. <laughs> well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Oh, joy. All right, off you go. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If yeah, cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. It's malfunctioning. That probably means... We're going to get vaporized. <laughs> this is interesting. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. One out of 19, and the cube is dropping. Hope that thing doesn't shoot me. What? This is new. I don't have a gun, just push buttons to get the oh. So yeah. Take this. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An <laughs> Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Interesting. Hmm. Well, these have been pretty simple. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. What? Okay. Two hundred nineteen. 
Nothing's lit up, so I'm not exactly sure. Hey, hey! You made it! Oh. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Oh. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go, team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead... This is where all these drawings are. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate <laughs> grievance filing paperwork. See-through elevator. It sounds like it'd be cool, but kind of scary. I guess it depends if you like riding in elevators. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Exactly the same as the other one. Have they been the same? Not entirely, but this one. This one is one that's the same from Portal 1. I think. Four box dropping. work. Because this message is being recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Hmm. So it makes sense. Why would they even put glass down for you to land on? Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> if the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, 
Please Fire avoid problems. unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. something hmm. okay apparently I was so it doesn't say so I need a ball or a cube a button. That's a good one. Took me a second. Here we go. And well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Wow, these seem pretty simple so far. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and end it here for today. And we will start with the next test chamber on our next episode. And we'll hope to see you guys then. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And um, if you have any other suggestions and games we could play, um, go ahead and let me know. Hope to see you guys soon.